Okay, so you're probably wondering where I've been for the last few months. The truth is, I haven't really been anywhere. I've been right here mostly. Well, also been to job interviews here, 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 and you get the point. Anyway, the reason why I haven't really had time to focus on my hobbies is not an easy question to answer, actually. But while I have been busy with finding work, it's not like that's been the only thing I've been doing. I suppose that the problem is, I have too many things to do in too little time to do them. Now, first of all, there's my books. I love writing stories. They're something I would have never imagined myself saying when I was younger, but it's true. I really want to tell these stories about teenagers who learn how to use their superpowers, someone finding out that his favourite book is real, a gang of wizards escaping from prison, and a little girl coming to terms with the fact that she's dead. All stories that I want to tell, eventually. And these are pretty much my top priority. But then there's also my art. Anyone who knew me a few years ago would remember that I drew all the time, and I don't do that very much now, which is a real shame. I painted too, so I'd like to do that again. Ideally, to combine this with my stories. I also do photography. I have all these amazing photos that I take and then never do anything with them. And I said last year how I put them on Flickr, but then that sort of fell by the wayside. And I hate that. I hate things falling by the wayside. Speaking of, I got into YTP last year, which is this thing on the internet where you edit videos to make them funny and or obscene. And my video editing skills and my sense of humour means I can get really into that. But do you know how many of those videos actually made it to my second channel? One and a half. So. One of the few areas of my life that I feel I'm actually making good progress in is Wikipedia. And so I don't often tell people about this, but I got super into chemistry a while back, and I make a lot of these pictures of molecules. I think I've uploaded over 4,000 of them to the Wikimedia Commons, which is where anyone can use them for free. But so far, only a handful of those actually appear in Wikipedia articles. So that's actually been taking up endless hours of my time lately. But you have to think, it's Wikipedia. Imagine how many thousands of people are going to be helped out by that. And it gives me a, a really happy feeling when, from time to time, one of those images does come back to me. Say, when it appears on the front page of Ars Technica or one of my favourite YouTube channels. That's just, that makes me really happy that people appreciate my work. And I know it's possible for me to achieve that same sense of satisfaction in other artistic fields, like writing and drawing, and I know, I know I can't give that up. And if that wasn't enough to keep me busy, then I've also said I'd start doing physical exercise, but all I've done so far is get myself a new pedometer. I mean, 1,699 steps sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. I also need to learn to cook, I should also read more. I also really want to get back in touch with old friends, you know, who I haven't actually been in contact with since before I left uni. And if you're watching this, I hope you know who you are. I haven't forgotten. And so I'd like to make this an open question to you all, all two of you who are most likely watching this. Am I trying to do too much? Like, should I just pick one thing and do it well, or am I spending too much time on each individual thing? It's already taken me an hour and a half to write the script for this video. Surely, surely I could get that done faster. Like, I'll let you argue that one out in the comments, because my own thoughts on the matter have just been going back and forth and not really going anywhere, so some, some external feedback would be rather helpful. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I do still have a job interview to prepare for tomorrow. Although, one piece of good news, the job search should be nearing its end by now. So, I'll then have one less thing to worry about. Okay, you've been very patient. And I'll see you in April with some real content, I promise.